Welcome back to another video. Today I've got a very exciting little unboxing and review for you guys. Very exciting as you could tell by my little hand dance. So yeah, XP Pen were very, very sweet and sent me their new tablet. It's the 15.6 Artist Pro tablet, graphic display tablet, I should mention. I'm very, very excited. You guys already know that I already had an XP Pen before and I was a huge fan immediately. I really love their products and just everything about it. So this is what the tablet looks like. It's basically a bigger, wider version of the the 12 Artist Pro that I had before. Uh, as per usual, packaging was impeccable. It was great. Everything came perfect with a little glove. Uh, all the wires, they're so easy to set up. Obviously, there are plugs for each different continent and um, a little HDMI cable adapter which is always great and as I do the sexy peeling and unboxing of plastics I wanted to mention uh, the buttons were beautiful but I'll get into those in a bit and also that the pens are different but the case that they come in is exactly the same which is great but the new pen is basically rounder and it's uh, more similar to the Wacom Cintiq ones uh, so it's got a rubber grip and uh, the two buttons are in a more accessible position if that makes any sense basically I really really prefer the new pen <laughs> Also, the XP Pen 15.6 Artist Pro uh, is just as easy to set up, although I did have some issues, as you can see here, the cursor would glitch out a little bit, but that was because I forgot to uninstall my Wacom driver, so don't do that, kids. Follow the instructions. <laughs> And for this review, I am going to also be doing this little speed drawing that I wanted to use to try out this new tablet. And I'm using Photoshop, in case everyone, anyone was wondering. So let's get into the review. As I said, uh, the new tablet is beautiful. It is amazing. It's a lot bigger than my last one, which is great because my last one was 12 inches, which was basically the same screen size. Was it 12? Or was it 11.5? I can't really remember, but it was basically the same size as my laptop, which is very small for little details like animation and stuff like that. So the new tablet is impeccable for that. But again, I'll get into that in just a second. This new tablet, the XP Pen 15.6 Artist Pro, has a uh, support tilt function, so you can use a tilt on your pen in Photoshop, Painter, Krita, Gimp, all those goodies, and what it'll do, basically, it recognizes the tilt on your pen, which has really cool effects. And it also has a full laminated screen, which is another thing I want to mention. It is great matte laminated. It is perfect. There is no, like, big reflections from light. Uh, it's great because I have a bunch of fairy lights around my desk so that would be kind of annoying if it reflected every single one of those lights but no it's great it's very comfortable basically I want to get into the new pen after that so as I said the the pen is very different and it has a new design the old pen was like a hexagonal shape in the grip and it was quite new and different but it was also not as comfortable as this one so I do prefer this pen design a lot more it's light it's got a rubber grip and the buttons are in a more accessible function so in the last one I barely used the buttons on the pen because they were such a weird like press place does that make sense if they were in a weird place and they were hard to like use easily and fast but these are much better i love the design of the new pen obviously the pen comes with an extra eight nibs it's great it comes with a little stand as well where you can keep the pen and of course, I already mentioned uh, slightly the issue starting up with the tablet, but that just comes with any tablet, honestly. I've never had a tablet that didn't have uh, a kind of a, a bumpy a bumpy start to the setup. Mostly it's because I'm dumb and I always forget to do something. So um, make sure you read the instructions. But as per usual, XP Pen has probably one of the easiest setups ever. I really, really enjoy how easy they make everything, which is great. All in all, it's very comfortable, it's very easy to use, it's very beginner friendly, I love it. The buttons on the side of uh, the new tablet, there are eight buttons and also a little slider. It's a, a, very, a new function that they've got, which is really cool. I personally really, really, really enjoyed the slider. It's perfect for doing zooms, zooming in and out on Photoshop and stuff like that. It is great. But yeah, there are, are loads of buttons, enough for all of my essential functions, I guess. So I really like that. 
as well as the, the buttons, the screen actually had really good pen recognition. It had amazing just readings of different pressures. I just really liked it. The one thing that I disliked about this tablet is the stand that it brings. So the stand that I mentioned in the last review from XP Pen, they, th that stand doesn't actually come with a tablet. You'd have to purchase it separately. Uh, XP Pen just were very kindly sent it to me. But this tablet comes with its own stand included in the price. So if you don't have a stand for your uh, graphic tablet, obviously it's a great thing that they include one. But I personally really prefer the last stand because it's got more tilt what's the word options i guess because it doesn't just have three or four fixed tilt options it's a slider so i really preferred the other one so i just kept that one but this it does come with a stand this one which is great in case you know you don't have one <laughs> obviously you don't have to buy one I also wanted to mention that this tablet has some brightness adjustments, which is uh, an amazing thing because in the last couple of brands that I uh, tried out, they didn't really have brightness adjustments, which is quite, a, quite annoying because obviously everyone has different, you know, eyes <laughs> and prefers different brightnesses. But this one has huge brightness buttons just on the side, which is perfect. With all these combined, this tablet is honestly amazing for animation. Not just animation, obviously. It's amazing for just doing any sort of digital work. It's really good. It's great big screen, not too big though, which is great if you have like a small room like me, but it is perfect for doing detailed work like an animation software and just little, you know, digital paintings like this. And also very, very affordable. Also, this new tablet has a much higher color coverage. This one basically has 88% NTSC coverage and also 120 RGB. So it has really great co colors. Um, it's amazing because when you're obviously doing stuff like this, digital art, it's great to, you know, see the colors that you're actually using. <laughs> really good really affordable if you guys are interested in purchasing one for yourselves i have a 10 percent off promo code for you guys that you can use it's on until march the 25th so you have plenty of time to get it if you're thinking of getting one and uh, the links and the promo code will be down there the promo code is xppen156 pro so if you are planning on getting one for yourselves i definitely recommend it uh, a bunch of my friends from university have invested in xp pen tablets so you know they're just really good especially if you are thinking Thinking of investing in your first graphic display tablet. I think that's pretty much it that I wanted to mention for this review. Yeah, I think I went through all the points. Go me. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I created this really nice piece on the tablet. It was so much fun. I honestly had <laughs> way too much fun with this and uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Honestly, I may or may not be adding it to the shop. Let's see. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk and I hope you guys enjoyed the speed painting. I will now shut up <laughs> and let you guys enjoy the rest of the, of the painting. So yeah, thank you guys so much and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.